Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message for you in this reading. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading, okay? All right. So. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless love reading? Ooh, baby. Nine of Swords wanted to pop out, y'all. Let's see. As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply to you, let it fly. But if it does apply, make sure you like the video, share the video, and... Consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of the tribe. And check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher. It's available now for purchase on all platforms. And I have the link listed below in the description box of the video. So thank you in advance for checking out the video. The video and the book, okay? All right. So we have the three of wands. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the ten of cups. We have the High Priestess, Miss Ida, the Two of Cups, the Lovers, wow, the Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So some of y'all have been going through it in each lifetime that you've been through with a particular person or particular person, but guess what? You got a new opportunity to uh, get involved with an emperor or empress. Take a high resonance for you, okay? Um, I feel like y'all are just minding your own business or were minding your own business when someone who had the potential to be a long-term partner came along. I feel like y'all wanted someone who reminded you of the life that you've always wanted with the Ten of Cups there, but I feel like deep down inside, y'all knew that the person that you came across may or may not have been your one, the, fa the fabulous one that all, everyone is always waiting for. But I feel like deep down inside, you knew that this person was a soulmate, two of cups, but they weren't the one that you were looking for. OK, uh, doesn't that doesn't take anything away from them. But I feel like for some of you Scorpio placements, you might have held on to that particular relationship with a particular person for a little bit longer than what you should have because you thought this was the only person for you now some of y'all might i'm not gonna lie might have two different people coming your way but you just don't know which one you're gonna pick i feel like for some of y'all y'all might pick one over the other or for some of y'all y'all might choose yourself over these options okay with the ace of cups here i feel like it's gonna come at the end of a row some of y'all might be torn between two people or you might choose yourself and i feel like this is gonna come at, toward the end of a rough cycle i feel like one of y'all though out there that this reading resonates with you're torn because you might be picking between someone who betrayed you and someone who's like a really stand-up person and then you might feel like you just better off choosing yourself because you didn't want to put anybody in a love triangle. I'm just saying with the nine of wands here, it's like, yeah, you believe in love, but it's like, is this the type of relationship you want? Is this, you don't, for some of y'all, you really don't know who you're going to choose. So for some of y'all, y'all just going to choose yourself and move on with it. Somebody's going to propose to you. I don't know if you're going to take that proposal, because you might feel like they're doing it as, to get a one-up on someone else. And that's not what you want. You want someone who wants you and wants to build a life with you. Right here is the emperor. You will know who the emperor is. Or this is you taking back control of your life over deceptive people. Now, like I told you, somebody might propose to you just because to keep you from breaking up with them and going after or going with someone else. That's what I keep feeling for some of y'all. Like somebody really don't want the commitment. But they're going to propose to you just to keep you from going somewhere else. That's screwed up. I'm just saying. They might feel like this is their final shot to get you. But is that really how you want to be with somebody? Just doing, proposing to them in spite of something? Oh, jeez. Just so they won't date someone else or be by themselves. I, ooh, child. This one is weird, but okay. 
if it resonates with you, you'll know if this is your story, okay? So let's see. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Play? Okay. That's too many. But Listen and Reflect is on, came out with those cards. Let's see. What are the messages? Okay. So it says, have faith, trust, and believe that love is here to stay this time around. Don't let fear or doubt interfere. Trust the divine. So that ten of swords might be that as well. This is the nine of wands. You fearing that you don't know which one to choose, so you might not choose nobody. Some of y'all, whoever the person is for you, it says let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch ignites a flame within you. So you're going to know which one to choose. But some of y'all don't trust yourself. You got to trust your intuition. High Priestess, Miss Ida, the High Priestess relies on the third eye, not the first two. Okay, you're going to see who's trying to deceive you and who isn't if you're choosing between two people, okay? Keep that in mind. You're going to know if somebody is trying to propose to you just to throw you off and keep you away from somebody who is really for you versus them proposing because they truly love you and want to spend their life, their life with you, okay? Anything else? Anything else for Scorpio placements? What is that? Explore. So for some of y'all, this new person, take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. That's what you're going to have to do because you're falling in love with somebody or will be falling in love with somebody pretty soon. The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to love and be in love. That's what a lot of you guys might be afraid. Ten of swords, nine of wands, that you might be repeating old patterns from the past. Or someone might be coming in from the past trying to throw you off, like I said before, and say, okay, I want to marry you now, but you're with someone else and you're developing a bond with them. And they see that, okay? So trust your intuition, use your discernment in these matters because somebody will try to do that. When they see you happy and you're not with them, they'll try to throw you off by, like I said, somebody might come in and propose to you just because they see you hip, happy with each other, happy with each other, happy with someone else, and they don't want to see that, okay? They don't want to see you move forward. And I feel like you have to use your discernment and say, nope, I'm taking my new beginning. I'm leaving the past behind. And I'm not going to let someone come in and destroy what you're building with someone else, okay? Ooh, child. Okay, that one was strange. But that's all I have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.